guys welcome back to glitz and glitter I'm gonna make some geode coasters today and today I'm gonna be using eye candy rainbow green and then I have this eyeshadow I bought at the Dollar Tree for a dollar so this is uh, LA colors shimmering looks and I'm also going to be using some gold leaf in the center and then also clear so check it out Okay, the way I split up my resin for this project, um, I mixed up 10 ounces of resin. Now these will hold more than that, but I want to leave a little bit left so I could put a clear coat on top to dome them while they're still in the mold. So in the 10 ounces, I split it this way, five ounces of the eyeshadow color. And then I did two ounces of the green I took one ounce and mixed my gold leaf in with that. And then I did two ounces of clear. So here I didn't want the green overtaking. That's why I did such a little amount of green. It's actually probably more than I wanted to do, but it came out nice anyway. So I just take the green and I equally pour it around all four molds and just try to get it as equal as you can. That way they're not going to be very different once they're cured. So go ahead and check this out and then I'll show you the next step. Now I'm going to take this eyeshadow mica powder, which the color on it, if you want to check your Dollar Tree, is called Honeysuckle. So I'm just going to take this and pour this into the center as evenly as possible until it touches the green. And then just randomly, you know, check them and make sure you're getting about the same in each one. Now take your clear and get it to the center as possible. You don't really want them off center or you will be able to tell. So just pour equal amounts into each one, like I said, right into the center. And this will start the reaction that you want with all the mica powders. Now I'm just going to take my heat gun and go around these edges and start the movement to move and pop all the bubbles that you see, but I do more concentrate on the edges than I do in the center. There's not a whole lot of bubbles, but you do just want to warm it up and start those striations to start forming. And then if you have a torch, you can torch it. I did just a little bit. I try to stay away from the edges and don't hold it too long. You don't want to ruin your molds. But you can also spray it with 99% alcohol mist spray if you want to.
Okay, now I'm going to put the gold leaf in the center and just try to make sure it's in the center because it really won't move anywhere. And then you can move it around as how you want to place it before you just let them sit to cure. They're fully cured. It's my favorite part. Time to unmold them. They came out so pretty. I really love these colors together. And the backs, surprisingly, look very similar to the fronts. So you can use either side if you wanted to. So here they are getting unmolded. And at the end is a little bonus unmolding from the leftover resin. On these, I'm going to use my Deco Color Premium Gold Paint Pen for the edges because it goes very well. This is my favorite pen. I get these from Walmart. It's got a nice wide tip for these edges of coasters, and the, the paint inside is a really, really pretty color too. So this is my favorite one. I'll try to link it below for you if you guys want to try them out. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please link anything that you have that you've made similar. I'd love to see them. And stay tuned for the final pictures. Uh, the best way to support me, obviously, is to subscribe. I really do appreciate everyone that does. I'm trying to reach my first thousand. Thanks, guys. See you on the next one.